Back now with our series, Your Life Calling Today. Today, contributor Jane Pauley has been working with the AARP, which has produced and sponsored a series of reports for us. And this morning, Jane's here with the story of an artist who did what a lot of people only dream about, and that is give up the grind and head to the beach. Hello, Jane. Thank you, Natalie. Kirk Rademacher found his life calling at the beach. It wasn't the surf or the sun. It was the sand. There aren't more than 400 professional sand sculptors in the world. Kurt Rademacher is one of the best. My life, it's crazy. It's really fun. Who knew sand carving was even a job? And you're making a living at this. Yes. Making works of art and building an impressive client list. Google, Facebook, Yahoo took us a can for a marketing convention. In France? Yeah. But behind this second career is a story. Kirk was a trained artist and carpenter. He ran a cabinet shop in Oakland. I was uh, going through a divorce. I had a stressful job. I needed to sort of de-stress myself. So he went to the beach. At a time when I was very depressed and I built a sand sculpture and it's like the sun rose on all the horizons at the same time. How does it like not cave in at all? No, I'll show you. There was people coming by. They were, they were saying, oh, that's cool, man. That's really cool. I knew that the beach was going to change my life. But not overnight. You were doing this weekend thing at the beach, right? Yep. It was therapy. You know, go to the beach and make a sandcastle. Then one day, he got an offer to make one in Italy, but he was jammed at work. I had never been to Europe, and so I'm on the phone, and I'm saying, I can't go. You felt you were handcuffed. I gave myself six months to quit my job. And he's traveled the world ever since. Now, I'm constantly in these beautiful places, making art with happy people, it's so intoxicating. I'd never had those moments before in my old life. You know what I like is that it, it has its distinct components where each of your personalities are involved, yet it comes all together as one. Definitely, you're natural. You did a sculpture for us. It doesn't say tomorrow, it doesn't say next year, it doesn't say forever. It just says today. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yeah. You're right. <laughs> it's here now and it'll be gone tomorrow. How do you correct a mistake? You make mistakes, stuff falls, things collapse sometimes. I mean, this is just like life. Sometimes you work hard on something and then it, it, it collapses and you just start over again. Kirk Rademacher has built a new life in sand. Did it surprise you that you had to turn 50 before you figured that out? Yeah, I'm kind of a bit bummed by that. I, you know, I go on these projects and I see young carvers uh, out there, you know, living the life, thinking, damn, they're lucky. But he knows he's lucky too. What a person should do if they're really dissatisfied is just find something that feeds your soul, that gets you excited. I mean, don't quit your job, but just make that a bigger part of your life because that's going to give you the balance that you need. Kirk has another piece of advice. If you go to the beach to build, take a shovel, a real one and be prepared to move some sand. It's hard physical labor. The reality check, I'll face it, this is a fantasy job. And yet, Kirk was able to marry his skills as an artist and a carpenter in a whole new way. And I hope you'll join me today for my internet radio call and show at 10 a.m. Eastern time at aarp.org slash Jane. Um, I, I love his metaphor on life though, when a mistake happens when the sculpture falls, how you just get back in there and build it right back. Thank you. It's great. Mm -hmm. Jane Polly, thanks so much.